Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Ken Metrol, the CEO and founder of Cosmical Studios, a web design agency. And I want to start this video with a new style, which I haven't tried before, that is more of an intimate, personalized video that I think might get the points across easier than my previous videos, which relies more on graphics and animations and transitions and special effects that I think kind of works, but I believe, you tell me if I'm wrong, if this style was much easier to learn and get my points across. So let's get started. Today's topic is five ways to maximize website lead generation. So this is mainly for businesses that are already getting traffic, but not getting enough leads through the website. So there could be a couple of things that could have issues on your website that could be hindering people from filling out the contact form, from doing a free trial or a consultation. So let's start off, start off with the first one. Let me erase here. All right, so the first one out of the five would be adding call to actions or CTAs. So a call to action is basically a way of telling the user or the customer like, hey, you're on my site, You've read about us, now act. Here's an action to do, whether contact us or buy this product or do this free trial. You might already have one of these, but the problem is not having it, it's how many times do you have it throughout the website. Most websites out there might have maybe one or two buttons or, or call to actions on their site, but that is not enough. Sometimes you have to have five or even 10 call to actions on the website to get people to actually take action. And it also makes it easier for them to contact you or to reach out to you. Better having five or 10 across the whole website than having one or two, which could be hard to find, or they just get tired of looking and, and they just give up and leave the website. So adding call to action, let's say at least, let's say five, let's put five on the website, at least on the homepage, have it everywhere. You don't, if you wanna add so many, add at least three. But having one or two is not enough because people will not see it. They'll skim through it and might not even notice and leave and go somewhere else. So that's number one. Have call to actions all over the place on all the pages. Contact us on the services pages, on the home page, on the blog, everywhere. Make sure you do that. All right. That's number one. Number two, which is my personal favorite. Offer valuable content. Your site might have the information about you, I hope it does, information about your business, what you do, what you specialize in, but it just looks like every other website in your niche or in your industry. Basically saying you're the best, there's no one else like you, we do, we do the best work, et cetera, et cetera. But to differentiate your business from the competitors is to offer some type of content or valuable content to the end user, to the prospect that makes them think, hey, I didn't know that before, thank you for teaching me. If I learned something new just by looking at your blog or a post or something, then maybe they know more than what I don't already know, maybe they know more than the actual competitors. So. Adding valuable content is one, have blog posts or articles, at least post once a month, which is like the bare minimum, but at least with that is enough to get Google to pick you up, which we'll talk about that later on. But having uh, articles on your blog, let me spell that wrong, articles. Uh, having videos, which the majority of you watching are not gonna do videos and that's why you will not be ahead of your competition because those that do videos will 100X get more engagement and more leads from the website just by having videos. Maybe even more than just articles by itself because people are lazy and wanna create articles because it takes less time, it's easier and they're afraid 
of making videos, which is the most impactful. It builds trust. People know your face. They know that you're real. You know that you're not a scammer or someone just is hiding behind the website and is afraid to put themselves out there. Force yourself to do this. I personally struggled with it in the beginning. I was afraid of going on camera. I was like, oh, what do people think? What, what people say? But I know that the statistics don't lie. People would rather watch a video and learn from a video than reading an article or just skimming through a website. So please, if you haven't done video, and please do it. You can use your phone, make a 30 second clip, a minute clip, and that's it. Most people don't even do that. And lastly, if you want to go a step further, uh, adding you know white papers about your business or case studies, uh, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Webinars, which also goes back to videos. Can't even spell it today. Okay, so number two, offer valuable content. Next. I want to keep this somewhat quick. I don't want to waste your time. I want to get the points across easily and as fast as possible while still providing value, which is all I want is to give you value. Okay, number three. Create additional pages within your website for each service or product that you sell for each service or product you sell for example Let's say you are in the real estate industry and you do all types of real estate, whether it's residential or it's commercial or it's single family or multifamily. If you have a page for each service, not only can the user learn more about your services and how well you're educated in those services, but also how to SEO, which will be something I'll discuss later on. But either way, the more time the user spends on your website reading about your, your about us, your blog posts, your service pages, all that helps the user just to have more trust in your services and ultimately reach out and contact you or purchase your course or purchase your product or the end result, which is what you want the user to do. So additional pages for each service you provide. Whether it's a service or a product, does not matter. And for each page, make sure you go more in depth in that service or product. Now, number four. Implement live chat or chat bots. I believe this is more crucial for e-commerce style businesses uh, than maybe high ticket services, which require more consulting, more uh, onboarding before giving out um, so much information. But if you own an e-commerce store, this could apply also for lead only, informational type websites only. But having a live chat whether they speak to the representative of your company, your customer service, or use a chat bot, which is all AI and answers questions quickly for the user without them having to reach out to you and speak to some human, which might cost you more because you have to have someone that's available all day to answer these questions. But this is not really necessary for informational websites or businesses, more for e-commerce. And the reason is because people are in that mindset of wanting to purchase now and they are kind of hesitant of whether they should purchase or not based on some questions they might have in their mind and if they can't find the answer right away they're going to just leave so having this chat bot there available saying have any quick questions we're here to help they can type in the questions you can have the responses ready to go 
and make them make a decision quicker to purchase your product or your digital service or you know, whatever you, you're selling. And lastly would be another personal favorites. Optimize SEO. So SEO, which you may or may not know, is search engine optimization. And essentially means how well Google would rank your website against other websites in your niche. If you're just starting off, SEO is a very long-term play that takes years and years to build up to get your page ranked on the first couple pages of Google and even more time and more effort to be ranked number one on the first page of Google. But let's say you're halfway there where you're not number one on Google, but you're working towards that. A couple of things you can remember to at least make sure you're doing right is going back to number two, offer valuable content and do that consistently, whether it's blog posts, whether it's videos, whether it's white papers or uh, webinars, etc., even case studies, all that helps Google see that you're actively updating your website, you're providing content, and they will prefer you over someone else who's not doing any of that. So content, I believe, is very crucial for SEO. And it's worked for us. We were able to rank our services on the first page just based on content alone, but there's more to it than just content. Uh, to go more technical, uh, Either you have your web designer or developer do this or you do it yourself, but adding uh, meta tags adding more keywords on your website the headings as well and I think uh, yeah, those are the main three basically most websites they want to use words that just don't really correlate to what they sell and Google does not know exactly what you do or what you're selling if you're not very explicit and simplify your services or your product down to, to the, like a couple words. So the way to fix that is to one, your heading, which is basically the first title that you see once you visit the website. It should say exactly what you do. No fluff, no run on sentences, just have it be three to four words like we do Miami web design agency. Boom, that's it, nothing else. Not like we're the best and we're gonna make your site go to the top and we're compelling, no, none of that. Keep it very, very simple because Google and its algorithm, it you might believe it's smart, but it's not that smart. And the simpler you make things, the easier it is for Google to rank your site over another one who just makes it too complicated to understand what, they, what they're actually selling. Now, you can also add keywords too, which is, um, sometimes you can overdo it with keywords, but it's good to know the keywords that you're in for your industry and have it spread across the homepage and other services pages and the about us page, just so that Google knows that these keywords correlate with what you are actually selling. And the meta tags is something that goes a bit more technical, which is adding the description tag or the keywords in the actual code itself of the website. That's a bit more technical. And if you don't know how to do that, you ask your web developer or come to us, we can help you do it as well. And basically, these are the main things besides content that would help boost your SEO. I can go a bit more, maybe do another video just only based on SEO because there's on-page SEO and then there's off-page SEO. But I'll go deeper into that in another video. I want to keep this video as short as possible and kind of to hone in on the actual tips I want to give you. So to recap it all quickly, number one is adding more call to actions or CTAs throughout your website. Number two is to provide valuable content, whether it be through articles or videos or white papers or case studies, add as much content as you can on the website. That helps with Google and helps with the user reaching out to you and actually converting into a sale. Three, create pages for each service that you provide. That helps tremendously. Four, implement live chat or chat bots, which I said before, I think it goes more for e-commerce more than informational type websites. But if you want to add it either way, it doesn't hurt. 
And lastly is to optimize for SEO because ultimately going the paid ads route or PPC, we have to pay through ads to Facebook or Google or LinkedIn. It does bring you instant traffic, but it just comes so expensive that it's not really sustainable in the long term. So if you focus more on SEO, that's a long term play. You save so much money just by doing basic SEO stuff that you can allocate that, that money that you save for marketing, allocate, allocate it more towards the product you sell or having better employees or building uh, out other products. But yeah, end it there. And uh, if you have any questions, reach out below. Again, if you're a business that needs to optimize your website and make it more uh, advanced or more improve its leads capture, come, uh, reach out to us. Our uh, company is Cosmical Studios. You can go to cosmicalstudios.com and reach out to us there. Tell us about your problems you're facing and then we'll reach out to you and see how we can help. Uh, either way, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe below if you haven't yet already. And let us know if these style of videos actually help better than the other styles that I've been doing before. And if so, we'll keep doing it this way. Thank you and have an awesome day.